Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready to solve it with me, press play. Okay, so we've got a recursively defined function here, and they tell us that the first term equals 10, and there's a common difference of 4, and they want us to match um, these choices with that, those parameters. So in other words, which of these choices has a first term equal to 10 and a common difference of 4? So first of all, remember that a recursive function is simply a function that builds on itself. It's the kind of function uh, or the relationship that you can't get to the next step without knowing what comes before it. So I'll say that in a different way. A recursive function is just a function that you have to build piece by piece, step by step. Um, and there's no way to really jump further ahead than, than there is to, to go one at a time, essentially. So for example, if you want to know the hundredth step in a function that's recursive, unfortunately, you have to go through the 99 steps before it in order to process what is happening. There is no shortcut. Another way of thinking about that, uh, the, excuse me, the opposite of that, would be to look at what's called a closed function. And that's where you can just jump around and skip ahead. You don't need to go through everything. Uh, so these functions do exist, and we've got to deal with them. Now, I'll explain these questions in two ways. Um, first thing to notice is that when you have f of 1, that's like your first, your first term. So let me say the first term equals 10. Uh, it can't be choice 4 or 2. Because those first terms, they both equal 4. It's got to be choice 1 or, th or 3. The next thing to think about is the common difference is 4. And these two values here and here, let's say, these refer to common differences, right? 4 and 10 here are being multiplied, so that would affect it in a different way. You wouldn't be adding 4 or 10 each time. You, each term would be getting 4 times larger or 10 times larger than the previous term before it. So with that in mind, you could solve this quickly and say it's choice 1. But maybe that doesn't make any sense to you. Maybe you want to make more sense of it. So let's, let's read through what this means, and let's just plug in some numbers to see how it works. So this says the first term, f of 1, is 10. Then to find the next term, f of x, let's, call it, let's try f of 2 next. What do we do? We take f of x minus 1. All right, so what's our x here? Our x is 2, right? So we're choosing 2 next. So we do f of... And you can't choose 3, actually. You can't go ahead. You need f of 2 to go to the f of 3. Try plugging in 3, and you realize you can't do anything with it. For example, if you, if you tried to jump to f of 3, x is now 3. You would get f of 3 minus 1, or f of 2 plus 4. But you can't solve this because we don't know what f of 2 is yet. That's, what it is. that's, that's, that's how recursive functions work. In order to find f of 3, you've got to first find the step before it. Um, so anyway, f of 2 is f of x minus 1, so it's 2 minus 1, f of 1. So to find f of 2, we go back to f of 1 and add 4 to it. So f of 1 is just 10, so it equals 10 plus 4, or 14. So notice we started with 10, then we added 4, is a common difference of 4. But let's just keep going. And the next one, f of 3, is f of 2 plus f of 4, and f of 2 is 14. We add 4 to that, and we get 18, right? And just so you really see what's happening, f of 4 would be equal to f of 4 minus 1, or f of 3, plus 4. So to find f of 4, you've got to first find the third step in the function, f of 3, and then add 4 to it. So it's 18 plus 4, which is 22, right? So here we're just jumping up by 4 each time. Now, now once you see this simple pattern, you can actually jump ahead. Because if you know it's 10 plus 4x, right, you can make inferences about how this is working and jump ahead. But there are recursive functions, uh, at least I think there are recursive functions, where you can't go further uh, by jumping ahead. You have to go through it step by step. All right, I hope this helped.